now I'm going to demonstrate the use of those ATGMs in the way they're supposed to be used because before that was like within 1.5k's engagement range if I remember correctly and these missiles are that, well they've only got one, one of them didn't spawn for some reason um, these missiles are so fast that they don't have time to correct to the target before they actually reach the target so if I stop right here I'll get a, an idea my cannon will not be able to aim up that far clearly, I do not have the elevation for that, let's reverse a little bit Uh, it's not exactly what I had in mind. I do that kind of want to be on flat ground, so if I just go here, that should be a little bit better. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Right, so. Where is the target? There it is. So, yep. There we have. Oh, that's not what I'm looking for. Where's the tank? There's a tank over there somewhere. It's supposed to be. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay. Right, well there you go, there is a tank about 1800 meters away. So if I designate that with the laser targeting system, uh, I should be able to launch this missile. And there you go. So they do work. It's just that in super close, well I actually knocked it backwards, in super close range, they are, they get there that quickly that they just don't have time to aim, pretty much. But now if I range find it, 1850 meters away, it's not likely that this is going to hit it, because cannons in this game are inherently inaccurate, and there's not much you can do about that, even after the update. Anyway, let's do a damage inspection on, what is this thing called, the stow? Stow, I think? Stow it. Well, it's still on. Does it still operate? Oh, well that still operates. And the main gun does still operate soon. Well, that's impressive. Nice to whoever made this thing. Either way, the missile hit it. That's all I wanted to prove. I'm gonna keep uh, explaining these missiles. So the reason I opted for a laser as opposed to like a radar which would be more consistent well there's two reasons really one is that most APS systems that people put on tanks uh, shoot chaff and if I had a radar guided ATGM this would just it would just go for the chaff so that's one upside of going for laser another one which is also part of the reason why they're angled upwards is so that I can shoot over things so up there I've got my Goshawk utility helicopter that is currently painting a target on the other side of that hill with a laser. Now, I don't remember if these, do these go up with the gun? Yeah, they do. Okay. Right, so I've got these angled up as high as I can. Now, if I shoot one, I should be able to go over that and I've got a, the same stoat on the other side of the hill and let's see if it impacted, um, it, it didn't, but it must have gotten close, because I saw the, the aftermath of it. Alright, let's try that one more time. Alright, let's follow it this time. See that? That is why I opted for laser. I cannot, I do not have line of sight to that target, but if I'm coordinated with another vehicle, I can still destroy it. And, uh, yeah, here's Mr. Stoat again. It hit it in the back somehow. Um, it's still running as well, so this thing's pretty tough for a little tank. Um, but yeah, 